Before we do any work in any shower, first of all, you've got to do the thing you've got to do is to make sure that it's electrically safe, and that means just turning the power off and a, f a few other checks. If you've got the most usual type of switch, which is a pull cord switch from the ceiling, just make sure it's switched off, and then probably try and tie the cable, up, the cord up in some way to make sure that nobody else can get to it while you're working on the shower. If, on the other hand, you've got one of these isolating switches, once again, just switch it off. But the, the, the thing to do with this is once you've switched it off, is pop a bit of tape over it. And that will just mean that anyone who, um, who's passing the shower will know that you're working on it. And it's less likely just to flick it back on while you're on the shower. Once you've done that and you think that's safe, the next thing to do is you need to check at the fuse box. And if you've got this more modern type of trip switch, then um, the, what you need to do is just, when you find the one that's for the shower, switch it off. And once again, a little bit of tape over it means that if anybody sees that, they'll know that there's something going on with the shower. Again, if you have the older type of fuse, one of these type of fuses, what you need to do with this is just pull the fuse out, and the safest thing to do with the fuse is put it in your pocket. Because if it's in your pocket, no one else can come along and put the fuse in while you're working at the shower. 